we are here in Wageningen with Professor Leo Marcellus. He's uh, like a kind of famous superstar. You, you're on television and on YouTube, uh, every other video, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's very important for starting farmers, urban mm -hmm. vertical farmers. Uh, they need to know about lead lights, you know, quality, yep. uh, where do you get information on the spectrum. So you as a professor teaching many and guiding many students, uh, how do you guide them about getting that knowledge? Okay, well, there's a wide range of things. Of course, we, the students here in Wageningen, they have their lectures, their classes, their practicals, and there we teach them about light, just do among all other factors. Um, we do a lot of research, and usually our research we publish in scientific journals. Mm -hmm. So definitely scientific journals is also an option. Besides that, we want to have our knowledge to be used. So we also publish regularly, let's say, in growers' magazines or in popular magazines. We also do some outreach courses. And with outreach is that we do a course on lighting, we have a three-day course in February, yeah. or we do a summer school in, in the summertime for two weeks long about everything about protected cultivation. And those outreach courses are available for, well, everybody can join yeah. up. So there are a few examples, and of course there are also many other groups in the world doing research and they also publish. How, how do you know that the quality of the teaching is good? Now, what, what do you look at as a, as, a, as a student? If you want to learn about it, do you learn you know, from expert experience um, or a combination of that? Well, definitely a combination. It's always there is not one solution. You need a very good theoretical background that we can do in the lectures. And you also need the more the, how to use it, that's often an inner practical. But I think it should not only be uh, professors or researchers, also people from the company to bring that together, I think that's very valuable. Yeah, that's true. I always like to ask this question, what is kind of like a final advice you would give anybody to get starting with urban and vertical farming? Well, to start with, you really have to find the people with the different knowledge. If you do start with vertical farming, think about for what market do I grow? So you need market knowledge. You need a very profound knowledge on how to grow plants. So I would say you need people with the, with the knowledge, with the theoretical knowledge, but also if we have what we say, the green fingers, the yeah. how to grow the plants and how to use the technology. I think it's mm. important that you have all the different expertise together Maybe it's not in one person, but then you need to combine it from yeah. different persons. Yeah. Don't only get it from one source, basically. And yeah. Keep an open mind. That's always important. Yeah. Be open on it. Be open. Yeah. All right, people. Be open and uh, keep on learning. See you later. Thank you, Leo. Thank you. <laughs>